Give us a release of your spirit tonight. I speak to everyone here this morning. Connect the release of the gifts of the spirit. The release of the seven spirits of God. The spirit of lordship authority. The spirit of wisdom. The spirit of counsel. The spirit of understanding. The spirit of knowledge. The spirit of might, the spirit of the fear of the Lord. I prophesy the release of the gifts of the spirit, the word of knowledge, the word of wisdom, the sign of spirits, the gift of prophecy, tongues, diversities of tongues, interpretation of tongues, the gift of faith, the gift of healing. Walking of miracle, miracle walking thing. I prophesy tonight the release of fresh fire for passion. I prophesy tonight clarity of divine direction, hearing and knowing what God wants you to know. If your hands and I'll declare that every aff affliction of the enemy. Be taken out of the way. I pray for a man who is was talking to me about an affliction, a, 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 a situation between his wife and somebody else in terms of like a bitterness situation, a contention. Is that a person is that is contending with your wife is is Zimbabwean or yourself? that that crisis and that contention is over. In the name of Jesus, I take authority over the spell of barrenness, blood, fallopian tube that has caused barrenness. Today, I declare the yoke is broken. In the name of Jesus, God is speaking to everyone in this category. He's speaking to a mercy in particular. Mercy has located you and that blood fallopian tube is cleared out. And your fruit of the womb is confirmed within this season, within this week. The Lord give you a testimony. And everyone that is a victim of blood fallopian tube, low sperm count, endometriosis, the mercy of God is locating you now. In Jesus' precious name, I heard the name of Bajumbura, Bajumbura, something like that. It's the name of a place. You are right there asking, Does God know you? You exist there. Yes, He knows. I take authority over the climate of witchcraft. I take authority. The climate of battles and fight all the time. I declare it is scattered right now. In the name of Jesus, everyone that is connected anywhere you are around the world, and it looks like you are, you are in obscurity. Your life is in a hiding, as if God is not aware that you exist. I declare today, God is seeing you right now. And every climate of evil is scattered in Jesus' name. Somebody is getting healed of testicular swelling. And there is a man with the name that started with a J in this category. Be healed. Peptic ulcer disease is healed. Gastric ulcer is healed. Somebody battling with chronic constipation. I don't know if it's secondary to pile or something, but chronic constipation until you almost cry to go to the toilet and at times the, 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 what comes out is like pellets of, like, like, like the excrement of, of, of goats and so on that like comes in pellets. I take authority tonight that affliction is over forever in the name of Jesus. Someone is being healed of a neck affliction. Receive your healing right now in the name of Jesus. I see a contention that God is handling, a contention. You are, you, you, there's just a contention that you are having. There is a fight, a struggle over what is yours. Beyond that, someone is thinking that you are, you are getting more than you deserve. Beyond that, someone is thinking that, that, that you have gone ahead of them. That's right. They are thinking that you are, you are stepping into realms that you are not meant to, or that nobody in your family has stepped into. 
I speak to Kepara, brother, in the name of Jesus. And I speak particularly to a friend in this category. I declare today, in the name of Jesus, that spirit of jealousy is arrested. Thousands of people and millions around the world, every realm you have stepped into, that God has stepped you into, no devil can pull you back from there. Polycystic ovary syndrome is healed, and that left knee affliction is now healed in the name of Jesus. Lift your two hands and receive the fire. It's a Holy Ghost night. All the things I mentioned, all the things I mentioned. The gifts of the Holy Spirit, the seven spirits of God, clarity and precision of direction. All the things I mentioned. Everything that have to do, that has to do. With fire, with passion, with revelation. You lost your revelation, you lost your dream, you, you, lost, you lost your sensitivity and discernment. It's about to be returned and released. Are you ready for it? Are you ready for them? Lift up your two and say where you are. Before we do that, everywhere you are in, in, around the world, you need to surrender to Jesus. You want your sins forgiven. You place your hand on your chest and say after me, Lord Jesus, I am a sinner in need of your help. Come into my life. Make me a new person. Tonight I have decided to follow you and not turning back, forward ever, backward, never. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, let us know that you prayed that prayer. I want to get this out of the way. Stretch your two hands in front of you and I prophesy upon your hands. I declare that your harvest will look for you. Systems are put under pressure. Do not be sleep and rest until what is yours enters your hands. In Jesus' precious name. Say it louder, amen. Your offering lines are, are there. By the time we are through praying and before we go, we can make sure that you release what is yours. I'll make announcements further um, concerning the various programs in Catalyze on Fire. For Jesus, London, England, and so forth by tomorrow. Tomorrow we are stepping into a new season. A specific stepping into a new season. Not a cliche, but it's a new season. It's a prophetic new season. Ensure that you are there in the name of Jesus. Now, lift up your two hands everywhere you are. And I will receive that fire. Some of us who have not spoken in tongues before, we are going to begin to blast in tongues. Some of you, your tongue is changing level. As the fire of the Spirit comes upon you, when I say the name of Jesus, you scream fire and place your hand on your head. First of all, when I say the name of Jesus, you scream, I receive. Place your hand in your head and then the second time you scream fire. Now this is the first time. Lift your hands. Father, let the fire, let the release of the Spirit of God come upon the people. Let deliverance come. Let healing come. Let clarity come. Let revelation come. In the name of Jesus, one, two, three, I receive. Open your mouth and pray.